Hi guys, welcome to the next NLP Journal Club. Today we're looking at a paper called Generating Question Answer Hierarchies by a bunch of guys from the University of Massachusetts Armrest. The paper was published at ACL 2019, about which was like last July or something like that. So the paper is about question answering and generation. And it's particular exploring how to build a question answer hierarchy. So given that you have an input paragraph from an article on Wikipedia, for example, in this case, it's about the band called Massive Attack. They come up with an approach which can generate the hierarchy about uh, consisting of first of general questions such as what was the iPhone application Phantom? and as well as an answer for this. So this iPhone application is actually part of this paragraph. It was developed by some uh, someone from Massive Attack. So a question like this, which is more general, as well as a question which is more specific, which is following up on that question, like who created it? And this was a team including Robert, Robert Del Naya, who is uh, from Massive Attack. So, they propose, the author proposed a pipeline which can generate these hierarchies given a multi-paragraph document. So for each paragraph, they can generate this. And this is pretty interesting because it is particularly relevant for exploring new articles, for reading them more easily. It could also be relevant for educational applications. So students could use this to learn about new new things more easily and to have a more interactive learning experience because this kind of gamifies the process of it, uh, learning new knowledge. So there's four main contributions that the, of the paper. First, the authors propose a method to classify these questions and answers based uh, um, according to the specificity, so either as general or specific questions. So this is novel, like this is one of the novel aspects of their work. They also propose a model that can control the specificity of the generated questions. So they can generate either more specific or more general questions. And they propose this novel tech generation task called Squash, which converts documents into specificity-based hierarchies. And finally, they have a whole pipeline system which can generate these squash hierarchies. And they also do a human evaluation of this system using crowdsourcing. So to give you a, a brief overview of the pipeline they propose, given that you have an input document you're actually going to be splitting it into paragraphs. And for each paragraph, you're going to be having a, you're going to be applying a question generation module, which will generate 13 questions in this case, which are candidate questions. You're also going to have a question answering module, which will generate answers for those questions. You're also going to have a question answer filtering step, which will remove questions and answers which might might be too too low quality to be included. There's one pipeline of this question generation and answering and so on for the general case, when you want to generate general questions as well as for the specific case. And so using those, they can build this question answer hierarchy, which is the output of the system. To train this, so all of those are neuro, most often neuro components, so different modules that are separately trained, each of those. To obtain training data, they're actually relying on existing reading comprehension data sets, most notably the squat, which is uh, consisting of questions and answers manually created from a number of Wikipedia articles, as well as CoQA, which is another one. 
similar one um, as far as I know. So they take those reading comprehension data sets and they first they um, actually split them in general and specific categories and they they have some special rules to do this as well as a specificity classifier which they train this, this allows them to produce training data for their question generation models for the question answering they're using a pre-trained question answer a question answering system um, this is a popular task so there's already a lot of those available for the filtering, they're having also some rules um, as well as I think maybe a classifier. I'm not sure if they have a classifier. And that's how it works um, in overall. So the authors actually do a really cool demo that I'm going to show you now. Um, it's available on the internet and if you go to the paper, you're able to access it. So here you, you have a text box where you can input an article which can consist of multiple paragraphs. Here I have chosen an example of the for the article on the game cricket. And you also have some options to control some hyperparameters like the um, sampling value top because they're using top P sampling instead of standard beam search to generate their questions because it results in more diverse questions being generated and uh, other ones as well. And here you're able to generate for the three input paragraphs, such a question answer hierarchy. For example, for the first paragraph, you have generated three general questions like what is cricket? And uh, so actually you have also an option here to, to switch between answers generated through information retrieval by just matching the question to the, to the um, input text as well as predicted answers using question answer uh, using a question answering system so for example for the first general question which is what is cricket you have produced an answer like a bat and ball game and if we switch back to the information retrieval style um, they have retrieved the precise sentence here which is giving the answer and if you drill deeper here you can see the specific questions which were produced for this paragraph, such as what is the format of the game, bat and ball, how many teams are in the game, two, how many players on the field does the cricket game take place on, 11, and so on and so forth. And this gives you a nice structure for exploring and learning more about this paragraph and uh, at your pace and it gives you a nice uh, reference point here as well, like starting with a general one and then drilling deeper. So I can see how this could be a very cool approach for enhancing learning of new concepts um, and so on and so forth. So this was the main things that I wanted to cover for today's video. And please join, uh, subscribe for some new upcoming NLP videos in the future. Thank you.